A lifetime of photography adds up to a few key seconds. These are the magical fractions of time which professional photographers have found after decades behind the lens. I guess as a kid I uh, always wanted to be a photographer, um, whether it was the influence of Jacques Cousteau's specials, my dad's travels in Antarctica and the, you know, the boxes and boxes of Kodachrome slides in the um, wardrobe that I used to pour through as a kid. Photography's really been my in into the world. It's taken me lots of really exciting places. I've been to the Russian Far East photographing volcanoes and bears. I've been to Antarctica three times. I've been to the reefs off New Guinea, photographing the, you know, the most amazing, diverse coral reef systems in the world. Just recently, uh, shooting great white sharks off Port Lincoln in South Australia. They got the heart rate going, and uh, these are big animals, five and a half metres, with, uh, uh, I guess, that primeval fear that everybody has of, of a big animal that can just literally bite you in half and eat you. The moment is everything, and whether you're photographing underwater or on land doesn't make any difference. There's a peak of the action which only photography can capture. If I think of the, the work I've done with whales over the years, how many hours I've sat on the gunwale of a boat with my mask on my head and my camera in my hand, these moments, while they're, they're captured in, in an instant, they are the culmination of so much preparation and, and visualisation. So the, the moments that I'm aiming for are the unrepeatable ones. This picture is taken in Tonga, um, Kingdom of Tonga, out in the middle of the Pacific. This is a humpback calf, so it's probably a month old. It's been born in the warm tropical waters of the Pacific, and it's learning about its new world before it has to head back to Antarctica for the summer. So this calf was really quite cooperative and um, was very interested in me and was uh, circling around and it had come up next to me and stick its tail out of the water and flap its tail on the surface. There was a few occasions to get pictures as it circled around me, but you know, the light changes, you know, sometimes you're in silhouette. And I, I picked the side that I wanted, which had the, the light rays, and the whale had just reached the surface to, to breathe, and it's, so it had arched its back and its tail had come out of the water. As it came down, it, really, it started to make that arch. And I saw the, the arch of the whale against those straight lines of the, the light. And I knew that there was something very special happening right then. And that little bit of disturbed water on the surface balancing the, the weight of the whale, I guess, in the composition uh, was one of those moments that you really long for. Sometimes you can't believe them when they're, when they're right in front of you and you've got to remember to take a picture because sometimes they're just looking so beautiful. To be honest, I wouldn't know how long I can hold my breath. If you asked me to do it now, it'd probably be 10 seconds. But put a whale in front of me or some other sea creature, turtle or dolphins or sea lions, the idea of, um, of time and survival on that breath just goes out the window. The ocean creates a fantastic canvas to be able to compose your subject. Um, the, the simplicity of the background, the gradation from the surface where there's the most light to um, the depths where, you know, eventually gets pitch black. In the top 10 or 20 metres, you get a great fall off of light, probably the greatest fall off. And it's the physics of that that make images like this possible. What I really love about the underwater world is the simplicity that it offers with the beautiful just infinite blue backgrounds you can create. I love the way the light falls into the ocean and refracts through the surface at different times of day. And I love the weightlessness of the ocean and everything else disappears from your mind other than just creating the, the picture. And to think that Although this is only a humpback calf, it's still 
six meters long and weighing a few tons, but it can feel like it's floating. Well, it is floating, but it can feel like, it certainly doesn't feel its, its weight. If somebody says to you, how long did it take you to take that picture? It's usually a lifetime, maybe into one two hundredth of a second for the final image.